hey, guess what? Five years. It's been five freaking years since I posted about these brushes. And I figured I'd give you all, like, an update. Because I was talking about the fact that they were good quality back then. And it's been five fucking years. And I was washing them yesterday. And they're still really good. The quality is, like, still there. And I've been wanting to make a comeback and everything's fucking falling because I'm nervous as shit. Don't know how to do this anymore. It's been a while. Everything keeps falling. But since we're talking about brushes, um, yeah. I have the Doja Cat ones as well. Simply because BH Cosmetics is still one of my favorite brushes out there. Same thing for e.l.f. You don't have to pay a thousand bazillion dollars for good brushes, which is the whole point. But quickly, I mean... Where have I been? Where have all you been? What are you doing? Um, if you've never seen these videos before, hi. Um, I guess this is no health part. I mean, it can be whatever you want it to be, because I do whatever the heck I want. But some of the things I have accumulated and collected, because I'm now a fucking collector for sure, are more of the reasons why I decided to call it, like, no health part. So, my mom finally went through her drawers of all this stuff, and I have all these books um, from when my dad was wrestling in Germany. This is all stuff that even he doesn't have. It's not out there, so it's all these write-ups. It's all in German, so I can't really read it. Um, so there's some pictures of, like, my dad. It's his famous draw kick. Um, this is signing. Like, I guess he was hot. I mean, it's my dad, but, you know, whatever. Um, he's signing his contract over in Germany. Um, yeah, I can't read it because it's German, but I also didn't know my dad could speak German. Not that he had a reason to, but that's kind of some of the things that I've been up to and doing. The rest of it is just taking care of my health. Again, like, COVID happened, it happened the whole fucking world, but mostly here in New Brunswick where I live, um, we just had an influx of people. Canada in general has added like a million and something people whatever we're not gonna talk about that part but the apartment where i used to live got sold to other people and then I had to move and then i went somewhere else and again being in new brunswick where everything needs to be trucked in including like amazon stuff it just made everything including food hard to get and i need like specialty foods with the autoimmune disorders so i got really really sick specialists were hard to get to because i mean the hospitals were just full of stuff and um glad to say now things are getting better i finally have my own place again where it's just me i used to have a roommate she she was okay um she was an adult however i had a couple little roommates before that and um the last person she was there for like almost two i think two years to the date before i found this place and moved out um first of all that other place was really really pretty it was a really quiet street it was great it was just kind of expensive but there's a difference between having a roommate that's just like someone that you know pays off the bills and someone who's like a grown-ass adult when you're an adult it, it made a huge difference but but we're not really here about that uh, we're here about like the brushes and like i said we'll look at the doja cat ones if you know you know I guess we'll just get started here because I don't know if this is in focus because again I don't see all that well. I actually go to the optometrist next week and I haven't done this in a while so I'm a little nervous, kind of out of practice. But just to let you know though, I have still been doing stuff behind the scenes. I just learned that putting your face and your name on it brings more criticism than it brings help. So whatever. A lot of stuff still has been happening and my health again finally everything's on track again i have the specialists been looking at them i've been having the right food the right tests still need to get tested for celiac which is probably going to come back positive which is fine don't eat gluten anyway and um i have a couple surgeries that are coming up which eh, whatever i i hear getting your um adenoids taken out as an adult is really fucking sucky but so it needs to be done but let's look at these brushes again i posted this march 29th the first time i talked about this five years ago so it's been five years and i bought them both on amazon at the time this one here my sister actually ended up picking 
the same set up about like a week or so after I received it. Um, so that's kind of cool. And by the way, my sister, you know, the, the kids are doing great. Niece and nephew are growing up. They're cute as fuck. Um, but like, again, I think I probably paid like 20 bucks. Or, no, I didn't. I paid $11.99. That's what it was, $11.99. Why the fuck do I remember this shit? I remember this shit because, I don't know, if I'm on the autism scale or whatever, I don't fucking care either. This is who I am. It's just me. I don't need a fucking label on shit. It's who I am. And I swear a lot, and I really don't care. It just, whatever. If you don't like it, sorry. Then don't watch. Not that many people do, but whatever. I'm still having fun. But again, this is just some cheap brand. It says Enzo Ken on it. Which I think is to play on Kenzo, which is Sephora owned thing, but whatever. Just the handle is still doing really well. I think this is in focus. I don't know. So, like, it's cute with. Let's see if I can add more color. And can you see that it has, like, those cute little glitters in them? Because I like glitter. There's glitter everywhere. 41, and I have glitter everywhere. And I don't care. It makes me happy. I. Yeah, I do a lot of that now. I don't care if people like it or not or look at me funny. If it makes me happy, because it's my life. Whatever, I'll do whatever I want. I mean, within the confines of the law, but whatever. Again, so it's still really fluffy and nice. They wash out very well, because I've been using these consistently. And, um,. It's been five years, so it's probably been six years since I've owned them, and they're still doing really well. The only thing is, like, the tip has been, like, kind of messed up, because I keep them straight up and things. But again, this is the purple set. I guess I'm, well, I'm dropped, like, five, so, and I don't feel like I want to get them. Um, same thing for these. They're still nice and fluffy, soft. They wash very well. Again, I washed all my brushes yesterday. I should probably wash my brushes more often and I'm probably speaking like a thousand million miles a minute because again hi if you don't know about all the stupid stuff I'm diagnosed with um ADHD is one of them really bad OCD and agoraphobia which I was doing really really freaking well with until COVID came by and yeah no um, I've been working on it, but some days, some days it just ain't happening. I am not leaving my house. My feet will not let me leave my house. Some days are better than others, but that's just how life is. Um, but, yeah, so the brushes, again, they're still doing really well. It's been, again, five, six years since I've owned these, and I paid, like, 20-something dollars for these. Um, I know that this brand now has, like, an Instagram account and all that stuff, so that's cool, but at the time, they were kind of, like not really known and just chilling on Amazon for people to like find them. Um, same thing again that the tip of them's kind of because I just store them straight up but that doesn't really matter the part is just the the fluffy part so yeah that's that's the update they're still really good and um if you find do care they're again they probably have a website by now sorry I haven't looked it up but I follow them on Instagram and I've seen what they have to offer you can buy it straight from their instagram shop but yeah it's it's definitely worth it i mean the color is still very vibrant the same as much as it was when i first got them and no my words do not come easily sometimes i talk a whole lot but sometimes it doesn't make sense um but let's look at okay. these brushes pretty much broke bh cosmetics in the sense that they had a collab with Doja Cat, which is these. They also had, like, your other makeup collabs, obviously, not just brushes. And they also had a collab with Iggy Azalea. And the logistics and the legalese of everything, where they still had to pay everything out, kind of almost, like, bankrupted the company. And they went into, like, insolvency chapter, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. I'm Canadian. We don't have those. And I was really sad because I actually really liked BH Cosmetics as a whole. So that's kind of when I started collecting things because they really started showing up at like Winners and Marshalls. Because I live in Canada and for some weird reason TJ Maxx is called Winners because it's a Quebec company 
and winners is an English word I, I, I don't know whatever anyway PJ Maxx Canada is called winners home sense and Marshalls and in the United States it's TJ Maxx and home sense and Marshalls I, I don't know whatever but they started showing up there and I was like picking them up for like five six bucks and I love the quality and that's when I was just like you know what I have to accept that I'm a collector now I just buy shit to look at it because it's pretty and it's in all these drawers and that's okay with me. I've just pulled out some of my other BH cosmetic brushes because I just really like the brand. They're really good. They're again just as inexpensive but not necessarily cheap. They still work really well and I love them. So it wasn't a big deal because I think I found these brushes for like 12 bucks. And I did buy them just for the joke of the fact that this is what they look like. If you don't get the joke, I'm sorry. I feel really bad for you because your life might be boring. I don't know. But some things are just fun to have fun with. But again, it's just funny. But if I ever really need to, um, I could use them. They're great. I'm assuming the quality is the same as everything else I own from them. But it was just funny. I just bought them for... Yeah, I get it. My hands are in the way. I can't really tell if things are in focus. I'm not very good with my eyes. But yeah, this is just... And knowing what we know about Doja, this was probably very fucking intentional, which is fine. But again, I'm sure the brushes are amazing. I just don't use them because I have way too many fucking brushes because I just like to buy shit. I think we're all like that though at some point in time of our lives. We just like to buy things because they're cute. Um, just quickly, we're going to finish with brushes. If this does translate pretty well on camera, we'll do more because I collected so much stupid shit. I have been able to find most of the Makeup Revolution and Friends collection because I'm a huge Friends TV show fan. So I have a lot of that out there and I have a whole lot of other things. The only video I've made since, I think, moving from the other place was when I bought a lot of the Batman collection. So, oh man, don't get me fucking started on Batman. Whatever, man. They're, they're going to ruin it all because I, I don't like James Gunn, so we're not going to fucking go there. But yeah, I'm mad that like the second the Batman is been pushed back for a whole year. Don't get me started. I'm very passionate about that. But I did manage to get this cute brush. Like it's a rose. That's kind of cute. And I don't even use it. But that's okay because it's pretty and it just sits there and I look at it and I'm like, oh, I like that. It's pretty. And then I found these ones because the inside of them are just cute. It's tiny little. I think there are lines, but maybe not. I don't know. It's. Chupa Chups. I've never actually read the word enough to actually say it, but I do know that it's like lollipops or something from like the United States because we're Canada and sometimes there's a lot of things that we cannot get from the United States, like ragu spaghetti sauce. It's not here. We just can't import it anymore. I don't know. But we also can't send any of you Kinder Surprise because there's tiny little toys in it and kids might choke on it, but y'all can have guns. Anyway, whatever. Um, so these tiny little things in the handle. And they're cute. And I have so much other stuff. Just all around my house. Because I think it's cute. And, I don't know, again, it makes me happy. It's what I'm going to leave y'all with. It's what I've learned and the therapy that I've been working through. Because I always share that. Because I know I'm lucky that I was able to get therapy. Like, not everybody can get to it. The biggest message that I've been trying to share with the fact that I'm lucky enough that I've had help, that I have therapy and all that stuff, is no matter where you find yourself on the scale of struggling or dealing with mental health, whether you have actual mental illnesses or you're just having like a bout of depression or you have anxiety, because every single person in the world has anxiety and it is important and it's valid. It doesn't matter if you have what people think is a little bit of anxiety compared to somebody else. It fucking happened. You lived through it. Again, I have no idea if this worked out or not. And it's going to take me a while to get back to being comfortable and saying stuff. Because it's been five years. It's 
So thanks. Love you.